has arrived. Yeah! You gonna go and try them on? Yes! Off you go. Good morning iFam! Hope you're all having a lovely start to your week. I know that so many of you mums and dads, grandparents right now will be at home hopefully having a really nice hot cup of tea in the silence because lots of school children, I know not all, but lots of school children have gone back to school today and I'm guessing your houses are feeling pretty, pretty quiet after a crazy few months. We've been in lockdown now for like three months, right? Yeah, it's been like three months, which is actually crazy. We obviously homeschool, so we're back at school today, but not school school. <laughs> we're just at home school. Um, Chris has some special, a new topic of maths or something that he's doing with them today. And he's just at the office, so the girls have just been doing some English work. And except Tyler, <laughs> who's now running upstairs trying on clothes. But she'll catch up in a little bit, and then they're going to do some maths work with Chris when he gets back from the office. Because I'm not going to lie, maths is not my strong point, guys. And... They don't need me as their maths teacher. English? Okay. Math? Mm, we'll leave that bit to Chris. Anyway, I've got a few orders that I'm going to just complete this morning and get out in the post today. And I can't believe I'm about to say this, but when Chris gets back from the office, we'll be fully caught up on Baby and Me, which I don't feel like we've been fully caught up on Baby and Me. When I say fully caught up, I don't mean like delayed orders. I just mean that we've posted everything, so there's nothing else to post. We haven't been fully caught up since before Christmas because those store, that store over the last few months has gone crazy. Like you would not believe the amount of orders that are coming through every day. Obviously very, very grateful and not complaining at all, but it does feel good by the end of today. I think Chris had about, I don't know, I don't know how many, 21 I think, something like that, to get off today from uh, Sunday. But unless some orders start flying through this afternoon, then we'll be fully caught up on baby me. I've got about 10. Um, in fact, I've got the I've got the names already done. Let me count. Maybe 11 or 12 names there. That need heat pressing onto the Easter baskets. I'm going to do that soon. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty, Isla. They look like in best silk. Wow. They're so silky. That oh outfit God. is, be that's actually one of my favourite outfits. <laughs> I have brushed my hair fully at the back, but I brushed it a bit and then... Oh, wow. I really like that. That's really my the type of outfit. I love really how silky. it's so pretty. And do you know what I love? It's, it's like you can't really tell on the camera. Come here, sweetheart. But it's like a bottle green colour. Face the light. It's like a bright, like a bottle green. I oh my gosh, it. that's so pretty. Eek. Nice choosing. <laughs> <laughs> So this one's age eight, and it's a good job. She, I said you should go for age nine. But it was out of stock. But it was out of stock, and I didn't know. Because she said, what size clothes should I go for? And I said age nine. But she didn't tell me age nine was out of stock. But I really wanted it, so I just was like, fuck. <laughs> so she was just like, add to bag, age eight. But it's a good job, because it's massive. Yeah. <laughs> That's really cute. Though. It is supposed to be oversized, right? Yeah, yeah. It's like a big oversized jumper. Wow, you chose some really nice clothes, Isla. I love this. So if you feel the legging, I wish you... you they're all like so silky legging. soft. But they're all really silky and they're so nice. Isabel and Esme got a nice surprise too. It's still in your PJs, it is morning Esme. Because they actually had two to a top each, sorry. There was two tops that were not Isla's. And this is Esme's. And Isabel. Isabel's was like a really nice lilac. Isabel's was actually one I approved of. <laughs> it's just a pretty lilac type t-shirt. Like a ribbed t-shirt with buttons on the front here. It's actually really nice. However, Isla did just come down and say, why have I got two of the same outfit, both in the same size? And I'm like, yeah, Isla, why do you have two of the same outfit, both in the same size? And she was like, they must have sent me an extra one by accident. And I'm like, I very much doubt that's happened. So I went onto the order and it looks like Isla accidentally added the same outfit to the basket twice <laughs> and this 
this is the outfit that Isla has two of. <laughs> That probably will fit Esme, to be fair. Yeah. And also, the thing is, you reached your budget not knowing that you actually had added two of the same thing. Yeah, I got Esme. That is very nice of you, Isla. Yeah. But you could have got yourself another outfit. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Like it's it's very cute. I really like it. Um, and it's very very seasonal as well with the bunny yeah. on and things. Because most of the stuff like Esme had ordered, they were too big for me. They wasn't the right size for me. And she had like older clothes that I don't really like wearing, like belt, uh, some crop tops and stuff. But because we both have this now, then we can be matching. Does Esme like it? Does she want it? Yeah, she wants it. Cool. Yeah. Be able to go try. And you'll be able to. You do, Esme. I do. We're gonna work cool. today. Cool. You're a twin. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, everyone. So me and Isla have just come upstairs. I say that every time. <laughs> I say that every time I start vlogging when I'm up here. But me and Isla have decided to be matching today. With the outfit. duplicate outfit that I accidentally ordered. It actually fits really well. The sleeves are like fine. It's not like the leggings are like a tiny bit tight on my thighs, but like they've already stretched since I got them, so they're fine. <laughs> and they're really nice and matching, matching makeup. hair, matching makeup. We only wear mascara and eyeshadow because I don't really like lipstick. I don't really like I facial like stuff. It. I don't really like facial stuff, Neither. but yeah, um, we're just gonna about you to go outside on our on Isla's unicorn. I'm gonna go together because we've never been outside. I know we've never been outside on it. Oh it's gonna be so fun. We're gonna be zooming like down the road. I'm going down that hill. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> what, if, what if it falls, tips over? <laughs> I'll get it slowly. Now go. The unicorn is out. Okay. Go. Oh my! Careful! <laughs> you should have turned in! Got <laughs> <laughs> <Right>, you! <laughs> We've been demoted from the kitchen, haven't we, Jace? I come back, Nana. Oh my god! <laughs> what is it? What is it? A banana. A banana. A banana. banana. Okay, me and Jace have been demoted to the living room. I was just doing some baby and me orders. However, Chris is home and needs to do some maths work with the girls. So I think I'm just distracting them standing there, like moving around and packing and things like that. So I've decided that I'll come out and sit with Jace for a little bit. Isabel's upstairs doing some English work. And then Chris is going to go and help her with the maths after. Not really help her, Isabel's really good at just, she concentrates better when she's just left to it. So we'll explain in the morning what she has to do and then she prefers to just be left on her own. But I think Chris is just going to go up and double check like she knows exactly what she's doing with maths because she just struggle a little bit with it. So me and Jason just sat here having a banana, aren't we? He used to say nana and then he learned that it was banana and so now he goes banana. <laughs> so cute. Jeez, it's not on my telly. It's fine. It's not fine. No, it's fine, Mama. No, it's not fine. It's fine, Mama. It's not on my telly. It's fine, Mummy. No, Mummy didn't say it's fine. It's fine to play on the TV stand, isn't it, Jay? No, it's not fine. It's fine. It's fine, isn't it? <laughs> it's fine. It's fine, isn't it? <laughs> it's not fine. No, it's fine. You should explain what you just said. It's fine. It's Jeez. fine. Listen, I told you we don't play with the cars on my telly, okay? And mummy's saying it's fine, but it's not fine. No, I did it, Jason, at first. No, yeah, Jason, it's fine. Jason, I said to Jace, Jason, no playing on my telly. And Jace walked right over to me and he goes, no, it's fine. Jace, it's not fine. It's fine. It's fine, darling. Why are you telling mummy? Mummy's not going to back you up for. <laughs> anyway, I'm just about to head out with Purini, right? Yeah, and we're not going for a walk right now. No, no, no. We're going to your least favorite place in the whole world. And not the groomers. I know you hate the groomers. The one you hate even more. Yeah, yeah, we're going to the vets right now because I'm a bit worried about Purini, not gonna lie. Um, obviously away from the girls hearing and their earshot. But Purini's got these little random, so she's got about four or five. Uh, hard lumps on her skin, at the, on her body, on her back that have appeared in the last, I don't know, recently anyway. They've, we've only just really noticed them, so they must have been recent because we would have noticed them before. 
Um, and one of them bled yesterday and looks really not very nice. I've read up in that her breed are really prone to benign, like fatty lumps sort of thing, um, especially in that region. So I'm really hoping that that's all it is. Um, but there's obviously the chance that it could be something more sinister. So I really hope that isn't the case, but I'm taking her to be seen right now. I managed to get her an emergency appointment today. Uh, Prinny, jeez, why are you taking Prinny? Are you taking her for a walk? Okay, can I have her? She needs to come in my car. Mama, okay. Can I have Prinny? Mm, my turn. Oh, your turn. You want to walk, Prinny? Okay. Go on, and you take her for a walk. Okay. Good boy. Happy. You take her for a walk in the kitchen? Okay. Come on in. Oh, cute. There you go, Prinny. There's your new walking companion when he's a bit older. Right, Jace. <laughs> Jace, I'm going to ask you one time and one time only, Dad. okay? Jace, where's Daddy's car keys? Where are they? In the bin. In the bin? <laughs> Daddy's car keys in the bin? <laughs> what are you trying to see, Phil? Hey? Where did you put my car keys? Gah! Where did you put my car keys? Uh, it's a bit of a stressful hour in this house, guys. I'm not gonna lie. I'm staying well out of the way. Prinny had a vet appointment 20 minutes ago. Chris can't find his car keys. I said to Jace, where are where's Daddy's car keys? And Jace said, in the bin! Checked the bin, and they're not in the bin. But they're not anywhere else either. So, <laughs> Prinny's now missed up at appointments. <sighs> but there's a lot of tension in the house right now. So I knew Jace must have taken the car keys somewhere. When I asked him, he told me he'd put them in the bin. So I checked every bin in the house, couldn't find them. Came round the corner into his bedroom, and lo and behold, they were sat in his potty. <laughs> Thanks for that, mate. But, but, a blue card, a black card. This is Jace's favourite thing to do in the whole world. Just sit at the black window here and watch all the cars coming up and down. Oh, black car. Clever boy. He's very good at getting all the colours no. right. Black car. What colour is Daddy's car? Her back. Black car. Clever boy. That's right. Black. Oh, there's a black car coming down now. Clever boy. Are you ever going to put Daddy's keys in your bin again? Probably. I'm not bothered dad about your keys. <laughs> but Paul Prinny did miss a vet's appointment, which was really sad. We were, it was way past late for the appointment, even when I was looking for the keys. So we had to reschedule it, but they were really cool. And they've rescheduled it for the day after tomorrow. So hopefully that won't happen again. And we'll get to the, we'll get to the vets this time. I guess I'm, I am worrying about Prinny, purely because I did the whole Dr. Google thing, which she should never ever do, ever. And, um, but I've asked a lot of other people as well who have similar breeds to Prinny, Bichon and push on and stuff like that and uh, that I know with friends and um, and they are telling me not to worry because it's very common apparently so hopefully that's right they're just like little hard they're just like little hard they look feel like almost like bite they're not bites they're not bites or ticks or anything like that so if, if anyone suggests that that's not what they are and um, they're kind of like they feel like little hard lumps like half a centimeter hard lumps she's got about five of them on her back and then that one that bled so I'm just, yeah, I was just over, overly worrying and I wanted to get them checked out ASAP, but I'm sure, they'll, I'm sure they'll be fine. Oh my goodness, you guys. It seems to have taken me all day long. But I'm finally done. Look at the state of my hair today. I'm finally finished all these. Obviously, I need to take off the plastic, but they're all just cooling because they've only just been heat pressed. All of these are going out today, along with the ones I've already done. Also, how cool. I've actually done three, not today, but I mean over since I've been doing these, three Jaces going to babies, which just makes me so happy that people are calling their little babies Jace. I mean, it might have nothing to do at all with my Jace, but you never know, and I think some of them are. Anyway, this is the last lot, guys. Do you see your name here? So glad those are all finished now and on their way out to you guys. I hope you all absolutely love them. The feedback that I've had from these has just been amazing. Like, the best I could ever have imagined. Lots of you guys said they're much bigger than what you expected. I need to do... I'm going to fill one of Jace's. I bought loads of stuff to fill it with, so I am going to fill it and show you guys what you can actually fit in these things because they are bigger than what... Some of you obviously expected. Um, and that they're super soft. Like they're the softest thing you've ever felt and that makes me so happy. I am due more. I do keep getting messages saying, when are you doing a restock? Are you having any more? And I've got more on the way. The last restock that I did of these, the system oversold sold more basically than what I were planning on selling. I was planning on doing like 15 per colour so that I could keep up on top of orders. But for some reason it sold way more than that. So I don't have enough left in stock to do a, a restock really. So I've got more coming, more on the way. Hopefully they'll be here within the next week. Definitely be 
be in time for Easter. I'll keep you guys posted on that. Now I just need to take off the, the what's it called, watch it Bobby, this plasticky bit, and pack them all up, and then take them to the post office. So we just got done with dinner, and we were just talking because today marks one year exactly since our meet and greet in Mary Shortle in Leeds, and that was such an amazing couple of days. In fact, it was, it was just the boss, couple of days ever. And like a couple of days after then, we traveled to the Maldives and we kind of can't believe that today is the anniversary of the meet and greet and we've been tagged in so many pictures and so many posts well, today. this weekend was. We this, this weekend, sorry, yeah. So we've been tagged in so many pictures and posts and um, it's just been really, really lovely being able to reminisce over all of that. And the girls got something in the post today to mark that from one of our very, very special iPhone. Chantella, thank you so, so much for this. I accidentally opened this package because I thought it was something from my caravan. <laughs> I've been getting giddy with Amazon and it's an Amazon package with a load of my other caravans and I opened it like not even realizing that it wasn't for me so I apologize that it's already opened but the girls are here and they're gonna open it themselves. Isla just said how has it been a year and Sarah said because it's been... I've been 365 days. No you didn't. She said yeah. 365 yeah. and we're all like oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway guys so uh, yeah you got a little package in the past in the post this morning. Package in the post this morning, so um, you can open it up and check it out. So I opened it already, guys. Whoa. I think there's a little note with that as well. To Isla, Esme, and Isabel, so I thought cool. each of you girls would enjoy these books. I've read some of them, and I enjoyed the Frozen one. The fro frozen. And I enjoyed the Frozen one best. Aww. Hope so really you cool. enjoy them just as much. From Chantella. That's oh, very cool, so man. Much. They're all like all the villains. Yep. I, when, I, cool. when I opened oh, this goodness. earlier, I thought they were wicked. I thought it looked really, really cool. It's like a really nice collector's oh, set. Like well. Yeah, it does. Yeah. A really cool collector's set. Oh, so so thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> That's right, Jace. So One thing we did do today was we booked Jace a private eye clinic appointment. So with the um, with the referral that he's got from his GP with the NHS, it's going to take a number of weeks before he's seen. We so, just can't wait a number of weeks. I, I feel like I feel like as each day goes by, I don't know about you, but I feel like it's getting worse like so quickly. Like it wasn't even only like three weeks ago. We only just noticed it three or four weeks ago. And it was really faint, like when he was just watching TV. But now I feel like it's like most days, like multiple times, most days. Which, which to be fair though, from what I've read, is, is like is typical. Not? Yeah, is it's that? typical. So anyway, but basically we booked him. Um, we've booked him to go into a private. Yeah, we've decided to go private. We're going private with it basically. Not for any other reason other than the NHS waiting list just really, really, really long. So and with something seen. like this, the better success rate is the quicker you get treatment for it. Is what we've been told and what we've looked up. So, well, the younger, really the younger you get it dealt with, basically. The yeah. younger you are, having it dealt with, the, the better the outcome long term. Yeah. Anyway, so um, he's been seen on Wednesday, so that's really good. Yeah. Been nervous about that, but he's uh, been seen on Wednesday for that now. Anyway, guys, we've got a bit of a big day here tomorrow. You'll have to check back with us tomorrow and find out what's going down. Until then, thank you so much for watching. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed, and we'll see you then. Good night. Bye.